you how to do ear posting zip tie method. First off, you need your equipment and your materials to include Super 77 glue, gauze, which will cut into squares, hockey tape or Zonus tape. I use the brand Renfrew, a lighter, some alcohol, scissors and snips, and obviously a zip tie. With the zip tie, you want the thickest, longest, heaviest gauge that you can possibly find. First off, take all of your materials out of the way. Have a nice clean work surface. You'll need to measure how long of a zip tie piece you're going to need for your dog ear. For me, I need a six inch with an added extra inch. So, I take my zip tie and I measure it. My dog ear is six inches and I'm going to add an inch to go down into the canal and have some to cut off so that I'm not too short. So, I'm gonna cut off a seven inch piece. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it up. It's about seven inches. You don't have to be right on, just have to be close with extra. Um, so then you'll take the end of it and with the lighter, I just like to kind of melt the end of it, just to soften it up so it's not so sharp, okay? And this side's okay. So then you'll take some of your tape, whether it be hockey tape or Zonus tape, and you're gonna stick it directly to your surface. That's why it had to be a clean work surface. You're gonna put that down. Remember, my post is seven inches, and I need to have some extra to wrap over the ear later. So I'm gonna take a seven inch piece, but I'm going to take it and make it 11. That gives me lots of extra. I'm going to stick that to the table just like so. Placement of the zip tie is critical. I want a little bit here and I want a lot here. Just the way you see it. I'm going to take another piece of tape, sticky part down, and I'm going to stick it over top. Covering it. Not quite as long as the last one though. And we're going to nicely place it down, just like so. With my scissors, I have a little nubby. And what I like to do is like to trace around the outer edge of the zip tie. It just helps it to stick down. And that way it won't come apart. Okay, and that's it. That's a zip tie. And they're going to do it again. And I'm going to stick this down on the work surface, just like so. I know that I need 11 inches. I'm going to take my other zip tie. And it should be about 7 inches. And again, we've got sharp edges. I'm going to take a lighter. I'm just going to kind of melt it, not too much. Just enough to touch it, soften it up a little bit. Beautiful. And again, we're going to lay it down, leaving a little bit here and a lot here. Bring it to the 11 inch mark, cut it off, just like so. Take another piece of tape. I'm going to stick it over top, run it down to the end of the zip tie right there. We're going to cut it off. Not quite as long as the first one, remember that. Okay? Take my nubby, or whatever you choose to use, trace it. And that's it. There's another zip tie. Now, when it comes to putting this into the dog ear, you need to have some protection down here in the ear canal. So what I do is I take my gauze roll and I cut off the square. And I wrap it around the bottom end of the ear post. So just simply lift it up, put it over, just halfway on, kind of wrap it around, roll it, come back up, and take a piece of tape, oh say about that long, and cut it off. Just wrap it around, 
Just makes a nice soft surface inside the... Okay, this is Thief. This is a Doberman. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple things. We're going backwards here. But in the beginning, I showed you that I needed a 6-inch ear post. You'll need to measure specific to your dog. And you do that by taking your zip tie, and this is the bottom of an ear canal. And if you were to stick your finger in, I can touch it to the bottom. We want to go just there like this. You want to pull your ear nice and stretched. You can see how it's down. You can imagine into the ear canal. And I know that I need about that long. So when I take this and I go over and I measure it, it's six inches long. So, after we've made our ear postings, like we did earlier, we got our little fabric on the bottom there, the pillow. We're going to take it and we're actually going to glue this. That's where the Super 77 comes in. That's this stuff. So, go outside, lay out some newspaper, lay your post down, sticky side up, take your spray and go just a little bit. Let it dry, it'll become tacky, and you'll see it'll kind of stretch out on your fingers and stuff. It'll be tacky, really sticky. You'll know it's ready. Come on in and grab your dog. Make her comfortable. Give her a nice treat. You want a treat? Good girl. We want a positive experience for this. So, the sticky side. For demonstration purposes, I am not using the glue. I am just going to keep it as it is, uh, but the glue helps it stay longer you know, to the, about the four day mark. Take your dog, grab that ear, and pull it, stretch it up. You don't want to hurt her, but pull it nice. Take that post, stick it into the ear canal, down, and keeping it tight, and stick it. Beauty. See how nice and straight that edge is? There's no wrinkles. It's been stretched. This can't pop out because it's sitting down here in the bottom of the, the canal. Now remember we kept this top to come over. It's perfect. We're going to take it, wrap that tape over the top, come down. Yours will stick a lot better when you have the Super 77 on there. But this sticks just pretty good. Then you're going to take your hockey tape or your Zonus tape and you're going to pull off pieces that are going to be long enough to wrap around the ear. You can't see it, but all I'm doing is cutting some tape long enough to go around the ear. Uh, three or four pieces should do you fine. There's the piece. This is a fold in the Doberman ear. I'll show you on the other ear. You see this fold? That's a natural fold. We want it to go with it. We don't want to fold it back against the opposite way. We want to go with it. So take your tape, sticky side in, stick it to your post. Here, flip this with me. There you go. You're going to stick it to the center of your post. Go with the natural fold. Wrap around, not too tight, just taut, and touch. And again. Come up a little higher, approximately the middle. Come around, very nice. Now I like to have the bottom covered. So what I do is I take a fairly longer piece and I kind of come down on an angle and I wrap around and I come back up and I attach. What you have is a beautiful Doberman with a beautiful Doberman post. Okay, so for the second ear, we're going to get our post again. Sticky side up. Take it outside. Lay it down, sticky side up. Spray it. Come back in. Make sure you have your pieces pre-cut that wrap around the ear. It'll make life a lot simpler. Take your ear, pull it nice and stretched, put the post down into the bottom of the ear canal, pulling this up nice and tight, applying pressure, in goes the zip tie, and it's kind of semi-stuck on its own, so that makes it helpful. Take your tape, come over the top, 
and stick. Okay, then reach over and grab your pieces that you have pre-cut. I do not have them pre-cut. And there's that natural fold. We want to go with the fold, so we'll stick to the post, wrap around. Very nice. You make sure this ear is stretched. And again, come around and do the top part. You don't want to tape it tight because it'll cut circulation and then you're into big problems. The one that goes near the bottom of the ear canal towards the base of the head, it needs to be significantly longer than the rest of them you've been dealing with. Turn this way. Again, coming in, wrapping around the natural fold of the Doberman ear, pulling it taut. There's your pulse. I like not sealing them up completely, leaving some fur to show it allows air, and air is good. And those posts will not go anywhere. Now, when you have a Doberman, the ears, as they become stiffer and stiffer as the weeks go on, you'll notice that when you take your ears out, they touch, or they go way out, or they go forward and back. All of this stuff is corrected by what is called a bridge. And a bridge is nothing more than a long piece of tape that will wrap around the ears. So you're going to take a long piece of tape. Just a second here. Take a long piece of tape. Say that long. Longer is better. And I'm going to keep it close to the base of the skull. We're going to come around the bottom, just a little wrap around. And depending on what's happening with your dog, let's just imagine that this dog's ears came out of the post set like this. We know that we would need to straighten that out by pulling them farther apart. So that would be the position that I would recommend. I would take my tape, I would wrap it around to the position that we like, stick it to itself, coming around the ears, and just like that. Okay. Now, that helps stop the dog from pulling them in and out. As the ears gain more muscle, she may overpower this because it is only tape. You can turn around and take a Q-tip, this is a zip tie, but take a piece of Q-tip and just put it there like that and just tape it so that would stop it from going in and out. That is how you post a dog's ears.